What if I tell you that one viral tweet convinced thousands of people to risk their lives? Because that's exactly what's happening right now when Sonali Bendre made a statement about autophagy healing cancer. Stay with me because this matters more than you think. Recently, Sonali Bendre made a tweet about a naturopath introducing autophagy for healing when she was diagnosed with cancer and that she's still using it till today. And the internet exploded because millions of people looked at Sonali and said, if she can do it with naturopathy, I can do. And that's where the danger starts. Here's the truth most people don't want to hear. Autophagy isn't a cure. It's not even a treatment and it's not cancer therapy. In fact, it's something that happens in your body whether you fast or not. It's your body's natural recycling process. Celebrities promoting this as healing protocol creates a deadly illusion of safety. In fact, doctors who treated Sonali clarified the facts. Sonali survived because of evidence-based medicine, chemotherapy, radiation and surgery at Memorial Ketterings, one of the world's best cancer research centers. Not naturopathy, not autophagy, not healing protocols. Because here's what most people don't know. Cancer cells can survive harsh conditions like chemo using autophagy and triggering it deliberately can cause more harm than any good. That's why statements like this are more dangerous. Naturopathy has been banned from giving advice on cancer in multiple countries. The FDA has issued warnings against advice that claims natural protocols cure cancer. Patients worldwide have died because of delaying real treatment while chasing miracle cures sold by the self-proclaimed healers. Cancer doesn't care about your beliefs, but it does exploit your delay. After the backlash, Sonali issued a clarification saying that autophagy only helped her with cancer and it did not cure it. But here's the problem. Once a celebrity promotes a gimmicky natural healing protocol, it spreads faster than correction. And thousands of people may skip or delay real treatment because they think one survivor's personal opinion is a medical roadmap. And that's where misinformation hits hard. Sonali is not a quack. She is a survivor. Her story inspires all of us. But the naturopath who advised her, that's the real problem. Because pseudoscience preys on vulnerable patients when they're most scared. So before you listen to anyone's medical advice, ask the question, where is the proof?